you can hang this up and it would just be for year round. Um, if you leave it up year round, it might get a little faded from the sun. If you have an overhang, don't let it get wet, you know, those kinds of things. But you can really leave this up year round. You know you have people who don't like decorating for holidays and seasons and things like that. But just for an everyday piece, this is what I'm gonna be using. And I grabbed, this is Hobby Lobby mesh. I don't know if they have it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Hobby Lobby mesh. If it's not, someone will correct me. And brown, I, I'm thinking just this one, but I might do the brown. If I do the brown, I was thinking of adding burlap on it, but we shall see. And then as soon as I touch this, I start sneezing. So we're just gonna put that up there. I did grab another little bush here of um, these little boxwood stems. I'm thinking about putting those in there too. So the base here is um, has eight ties on it. So if you had eight stems, you could literally put this, of course there's only seven stems. I was gonna say if you had eight stems, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you could put one for each, but they have multiple little pieces on here. We can cut this apart and just stick it in there. So I'm gonna give a shot at that. Some tubing, cause you know I love tubing and then my ribbon. So I'm gonna slide this in here and we're just gonna get busy. Joy, I am, I am such a hot mess. I'm gonna put that over there. Let me know if you can see, let me move this around just to get a better, uh, yeah, this, just ignore this side over here. This is all the electronic side. You see my phone I'm recording for from my water. Let me move this around though. I like to put this here. I can't even see comments yet. Equally. I'm a hot mess, you guys. Let me bring this up. I think I got panicked because I used the restroom and I forgot to close the door, so I had to jump up and close the door. And that was fine. Okay, now I can see comments. Hello! Oh no, Joyce, I did see that. I hope everything turns out okay. Ben Franklin carries the multicolor mesh too. Oh my gosh, what the heck is Ben Franklin? Hi, mom. This is nice because it's jute mesh too. So, um, I, I don't know, it's just, it's in my opinion, I, I like it. So here we go, let's get started. Now, if you're in Rethrow Club, I just did a live in the group, letting you know where I'm at, what's happening. So make sure you go in, guys, what is this? <laughs> Part of it's missing. I'm gonna clip it off anyways, but isn't that funny? Look at this hot mess. Looks like that little bottle brush uh, flower, you know, on the bush. It's like oh, and she got it. Right? What the heck happened to the rest of it? I don't know. Okay, anyways, I did, that just derailed me. If you've never used this before, this is the 15 inch rethrow base. I love this because you could do eight ties. If you love a fuller look, I'm sure you can do outside and then inside and add two rows of mesh. I'm just doing one. I'm gonna go all the way around on these little bars right here and adding my pipe cleaner, okay? So if you're in Wreath Row Club, make sure that you go and check out the post that I just did. I'm gonna type everything up so you guys have it written down and you can see what changes we're making. And then if you watch the video and then give me further instructions. So what I'm talking about is I have a monthly subscription box for Wreath Rows. It's called Wreath Row Club and I'm revamping it and making some changes. One of the changes that I'm making is you can, um, we'll still have different sizes, the 12 inch and the 20 inch. Um, one of the changes that I'm making is I'm adding a very limited number of kits. So um, the kits will be offered to my club, my existing club members first. I'm gonna see who wants to change their um, subscription to the kits and then go from there and see what I have left. So um, first tier is existing club members. Second tier is the wait list. 
So make sure you're on the wait list because I'm going to email you and let you know what's happening, okay? And then I'm going to let you know when it's available. So let me put that in there really quick for you. Kathy, is, so when the um, text message goes out, it doesn't just blast my whole list. It probably goes in increments um, and yours might come later. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, wreath. Can I spell? Wreathrillclub.com for the wait list. So wait list is free. All you're saying is, yes, I want more information. And then when I send out the email, come on now, there it is. I send out the email, then you decide if you want to sign up or not, okay? There's no obligation. If you just want to sign up just to have more information, that's fine. I would hope that you would want to join. I'm having some uh, exclusivities in there that are just for club members. Okay, so there's one surprise though, and only club members know right now, if you're an existing club member, you're gonna wanna get in the group and watch the video. Okay, so all I did was put eight ties around it like this. This is what the back looks like. I mean, we're just adding pipe cleaners to the bars. There's eight of them. Set that to the side, let's cut the mesh. I think I'm just gonna do this right here. And I'm also thinking about doing a thin wreath. Let's do a pancake style wreath, okay? So let me get my cutter, my rotary cutter. Oh, I gotta plug the hot glue in. Let me plug that bad boy in. Okay. So 50, I'm gonna do 15 inches times eight. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I bought these little water infusers. That one's lemon and ginger. I just love it. It's called, I think it's called infusions. It's with the tea aisle, it has a little uh, container. So that's what mama's drinking. Okay, so eight ties at 15 inches and you guys, if you like to add more to your wreath with this wreath base, I have not tried it yet with doing the um, the two levels, like, you know, doing it inside and outside. I think that this, the way that I've been doing it covers it pretty well. But if you like something more, I would love for you guys to show me, oh, I need two more. Show me what that looks like if you're doing two layers of the mesh um, because I don't know if it, it'll um, it'll work or not but if that's what you want to do then do it hi Chris hello friends no to club members I didn't send a text out um, to club members it's in the group so, yay, Sandy. Okay, you're gonna take your mesh and this is the natural curl of the mesh. Just gonna lay it down and from cut side, this is where I cut. I'm gonna ruffle this all the way down the middle. Now this does have a pattern on it, so you can kind of keep it lined up in the middle. And it's gonna look like this. It almost looks like it's a bow tie or a butterfly. And then I put this right here in the tie. And you know what? I should have done this. Mel cuts all her things ahead of time and does her pieces and layers. So I think I'm gonna do that. Let me get my first layer on here. And you're just overlapping the edges. Now this is like, this mesh wants to stay a big petal. <laughs> it does not want to overlap, so we're just going to leave it. Okay, so I'm going to put the four on there, and what I'm talking about is I skip, skip every other tie and put four on there. I'm going to get the ribbon cut, and then I'm going to put the other four. Because if you don't do it that way, in which I struggle with, you know, uh, breaking bad habits, is you're touching the stuff way too many times. 
This mesh just wants to be like nice and full. What's going on with this one over here? It just wants to be like this big open petal. Let me put this one on top. Nope, it does not like that. Cooperate. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, so it's gonna start to look like that. And you see I skipped one. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. Hi, Betty. Thank you, Kathy. I'm so excited, you guys. One of the things that I'm working on, um, I'm not ready to uh, post about it yet, is coming really soon. And my club members are gonna be my like beta testers for me. And um, stay tuned because the next couple weeks are going to be huge for Hot Mesh Mom. Um, and I'm just excited. That's all. That's all. Just simple things like that. Okay, so ruffle down the middle. Put this right in the tie. Oh, here's that funky tie that has no fluff on it. And twist it off. And then you, if you haven't watched Mel's tutorial on how to do pancake style, um, it's amazing. So I'm just following what I learned. And then it's gonna look like that. So there's the first layer. You can see I skipped every other one. Let's get the ribbon cut and then we'll go back and do the others, okay? Same thing with tubing. So let me see if I have enough, cause I have, I have white iridescent and then I have silver. I love adding silver when there's white because it's going to break up all these muted colors here. But if you know someone that doesn't like a lot of colors or doesn't like um, decorating for the holidays, this could be a good piece um, to make for someone. So whatever this is, all I, all I did was take this, you'll see I have the two ends. I'm just letting it flow nicely. It's nice and not bunched up, bringing it together. So this is where I'm gonna cut, right here. So there's those, and then I'm gonna fold it back in half again. So I'm gonna have four and then eight, and whatever this is. So normally I like to do like um, 18 inches. So let's see what this is. Maybe it's bigger, maybe it's, smaller. Oh, it's about 18 inches. If I got all of these lined up, let's see what this is. Yep. 18. Some, one of those is 19. So just about that. So 18 inches on your tubing. One's going to go in every single one. Um, I'm just going to push, put that over there. And then I have this ribbon, which I think is really dark. I pulled this one out. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I have this black sheer that I really want to use, but it is super sheer. I only use that really for um, like a bow. So let me get this cut. Let me see if I'm gonna use this or not. Just, it's like really dark. Now that I'm looking at it, it's really dark, but ooh, I like this. Let me see. We can always change our mind. Eh, I think it just goes with it. This is gonna lighten it up a little bit like that. Okay, we're just gonna do that. So I'm gonna use this black and like tan striped and then this beige. So this is two and a half inch, this is one and a half inch. So we'll use that. And let me get my tailboard out. And I'm going to do Let's do 10 inches. I think 12 inches is too, let's do 10 inches. So I need eight times 10 inches. Okay, I like to do it this way, just because. Thank you for the sprinkles. Yay, Kathy. So, Oh, look, I took it off the the thing and I didn't put it back on. So let me get organized here. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. I tried to pull out some four inch ribbon. I just wasn't feeling anything that I had. And then I was like, well, let's make a thin wreath, okay? Um, and not do a four inch ribbon. But. Now you guys, I had an idea. about using the ribbon tail board. So the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what my idea was. So if you get stuck with pulling your ribbon off, let me show you what I thought about. So I need eight more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because if you do it too tight, it's gonna get stuck, right? Okay. So trim this off. Well, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter. Nope, never mind. Scratch that. Because I was thinking of folding it and, but it's not gonna work out because you're gonna have a half a piece. Never mind. See, I'm glad I tried it before I messed up a whole. Or I thought about it before I messed up a whole thing of ribbon. Whew, that got me hot. Clean my email. You haven't received anything. Betty, I don't know. Yay, Barb, I saw you watching. Oh, yours is still in route, okay. So, um, one of the things we're going to do for club is, um, with the kids, it's going to be for all club members. So not just for the kit people is we're going to be putting those together, um, every month. So depending on how quickly the postage runs, you know, the carriers, if we send it out by the 10th of the month, you should have it by the end of the month. So the end of the month, we will have two lives where we're going to be putting the kits together. Okay. And now I'm just cutting dovetails on my ribbon. I'm doing it over here. I'm going to put this over here. I'm doing it over the trash can. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a sweater, it's because it's freezing outside. Maybe not right now, but when I left my house, I had to get up and put a blanket on my bed this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm freezing. Check the, check the phone and said it was 45. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll wear a sweater today just to keep me warm in here. The wind has died down though. It's, it's, it's a little windy. It's not like how it was crazy the other day, you know? Kathy, what's wrong with my email? Ever since we changed our email, I've had nothing but problems. <laughs> ah, so we might not do a bow, which is okay, right? But I'm gonna leave those over there in case we do decide to do a bow. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do, um, I forgot to do thing. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something different. We're gonna use liquid nails. Cause last time, I put hot glue on the uh, dap. It smelled really bad. So before you start your project, make sure you put your um, your cable tie mounts on here. I'm just gonna go on the side right here. So if I line that up correctly, it should be like this. We're gonna try something new. And then I'm gonna put hot glue around it. Come on, you. There you go. What happened? Oh, it's all crusty. Oof. I must have left it open too long. Let me get this off of here. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's all crusty on the end. I must have left the tube open because there's a big old glob of it. Oh, shoot. Now it's on my finger. 
just gonna put a little bit of that. And I'm gonna put hot glue around it. Toothpaste. See, it doesn't wanna come out. I think I ruined my thing. No! There we go. Let me wipe this off again. Ew. Okay, don't leave your glue open. Whew. Hi, Rebecca. It snowed in Idaho. No, thank you. <laughs> it snowed in Missouri. No, thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to let those kind of set up. Let's get some glue around here. This one seeped out too. I might have some chemical high over here. Oof, it does stink. So all I did was put the liquid nails, the mounting square, some hot glue around it. We're just gonna leave it there, let it dry. And now go back to our project. So if you cut everything ahead of time, you would do all the mesh, then you would get your ribbon, Okay. Your ribbon, make your ties, your tubing. I do not, um, excuse me, untie this. I, could. I do not untie my tie to add the next layer. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see. So I twist this off a few times. Then um, we want this to be flat, so I'm really not gonna fluff it too much. I'm gonna leave it nice and kind of straight. But this little guy right here needs to come out this way. There we go. And then get your wire cutters, and then we're just gonna trim this off. I, oops, twist it, see I didn't wanna cut. This is that funky one. I twist it so it doesn't come apart and then cut it to where there's a little tiny nub right here. And then I'm just bending it backwards and pressing it along the back side of the tie. And it's gonna look like this. You don't wanna make an X with your ribbon. You guys saw the scratch on my back. You don't wanna make an X with your ribbon because you're gonna put that sign on it and it's gonna cover it up. I don't know where my back scratcher is, but I'm using my pencil. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't even today. I've been with the kids the last two days. Maybe it's them. <laughs> They're at my parents' house right now. We're on spring break this week. So they have been so good at home. They got their playtime yesterday. Um, I just kept them in the house because it was still windy. I mean, both of them were sneezing and all kinds of stuff. Um, but they got their playtime. They did some chores. So we took them out to dinner last night, took them to bowling, which was fun. So it was nice family time. We deserve it. We work hard. Okay, twist this off a few times. Cut it. Put it to the back. And this is why you can uh, do your ribbon ahead of time because when you come and do your next layer of mesh, it's going to cover part of this. Okay, so this is the first phase. Could you see the eagle I did? Um, it's at my dad's house. <laughs> you have to watch the replay or look at the pictures on the uh, page. It's at my parents' house. It is pollen season, it's awful. I went out, oops, I went out and checked on my tortoises, the turtles, and girl, their water dish was looking so green, that yellow green powdery stuff. I'm like, no, pollen be gone. I don't know where you came from, but uh-uh. And yesterday was so cold. 
I didn't see the tortoises out. One is hiding somewhere. I haven't been able to find her. I don't know if she went in her little burrow or not. They're territorial, but they're sisters. Um, but they're still territorial. And they were hiding in the shed. Because one is so fat now. She's too big for her burrow. So I'm pretty sure the other one went in her burrow. I don't even know. But anyways. You would take snow over pollen? Oh my gosh. I want no part of any of that. Okay, so um, I'm on the last one. If you've never done this before, you're going to um, add your mesh the same way, but we're not moving anything out of the way. And then we'll get the next layer of stuff on here, add our sign, put in our little green pieces. And this is gonna be so cute. Perfect for someone who just does not like anything bright colorful this is what it's looking like with the four so now you take your mesh and we repeat it okay open this up and this is why i said don't put your ribbon as an x pattern because you won't see it it's more like a k down and to the side or you know you can think of it as the inside piece is look, making it look like a, a circle and then the other ones are just coming out so you put this right on top see I'm not moving any of the um, stuff and the ties next to it and then fix your mesh so it lays right on top and then here, turn this upside down, fix these ties, turn this to the side. That one's kind of wonky right there, but it's okay. So you have something like that. You can even have your ribbon coming down more instead of out. I'm going to change that. Instead of going around that way, I'm going to have it come down more. So I'm gonna, you're going to see me manhandle these. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So you see this one right here? It's kind of laying on top of the neighbors there. And then you could just, you could do all the mesh. You could do each tie by itself. I'm just going to do all the mesh and then go back and uh, do the ribbon and the tubing, okay? So ruffle it down the middle, place it in the tie, Looking so cute. So here's that one right here. Oh no, a sinus infection. That's not good. And then if you start sneezing or coughing, everybody thinks you have the vid, right? The big C. You're like, calm down, it's allergies. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> your mesh so if you're joining late and you didn't hear the beginning make sure you watch the replay my link is there for waitlist for the wreath Girl club there's no obligation to sign up all it is is um, a list for information only oh I didn't add it to Instagram I'm sorry it's wreathrowclub.com to my wait list and then I have to get it updated with the new details now that I told the club my club members now the current subscribers then I can start sharing it 
and it's going to be a closed model. So when we go live with all the information, after the first, it's closed. It's not gonna be open every single month like it has been. And that is so when we have the kits, I know what number I'm working with. And if you don't get on the, um, if you don't join now and it's not a good time, make sure you stay on the wait list because if I have any openings, that's where I'm gonna go and say, hey, I have an opening, join now, first come, first serve, okay? Hi, Faye. Maybe it depends on what kind of mesh lays down. I can tell you every mesh that I've used, it's always different. This one just is has more jute in it than like the other ones. Like the brown is just all polypropylene, so it's all pla that plastic mesh. This one has some jute in it, so maybe it just doesn't want to move like the rest. I don't know. But I mean, it is looking pretty cute. Look at this. So this one's done down here. See that? And now I'm just gonna go around doing the rest of it. So putting the, I'm just taking my ribbon, lining it up. Cause I like the one and a half inch kind of in the middle and then folding it over. I do crease it. So where that crease is, that's where I'm going to ruffle it up, okay? And my ribbon folded the wrong way. Fold that over the tubing. Terry, it's 15 inches. Now here's another thing that's coming. I'm working on a freebie for you guys. It's going to be a printable. It's almost done. It's gonna be a printable that you can print on your end or if you like things digitally, do it on your phone, your computer, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be a PDF to where you can print it out and keep track of the projects that I'm making. So it's um, something that's going to have uh, supplies and then a line for you to write. Like um, Terry just asked, what's the length of the mesh? When we get started, you're going to have your little printable for you. Print it out on your end. And then you can start filling it out. You can write, oh, she used um, the black and tan mesh. Uh, you'll put the project at the top. You'll put the date. She used black and tan mesh, eight ties times um, 15 inches, thin pancake style. You're gonna use it to take your notes. And then you could do, um, when it gets to the ribbon, you could say black and white stripe, um, 10 inches and then two and a half inch and then one and a half inch cream, beige. So it's just a placeholder for you guys to keep track of projects. At the top, you can put the project name. So this would be everyday wreath and the date. The, the date is important because, you know, I keep all my videos here. And if you put today's date, you know what date to come back. Oh, what's the date? When did she do that live? Oh, here's my paper. Here's the name of the project. Here's the date. You can go and filter every day. Um, every day, what did I say? Wreath rail? I don't know. I try to give you guys the name of the item that we're using. That way you can search it. So it's all going to play together. And then you just keep track of it. Oh, she's doing the round sign, two cable timeouts. She used silver tubing at 18 inches um, times eight ties. Black pipe cleaners. I mean, anything that we're using, you could write down and take notes, okay? So that is coming. I need to wait on getting the page set up and then we'll be good as gold. And then I'll say, hey, sign up for my, uh, I'm calling it my wreath rail blueprint, okay? So when you see wreath rail blueprint, that's me. You guys know Christine Jerry. She's the one that's helping me. Okay, look at this. How cute is that? How cute is that? Hi, Sarah. Kathy, a little bit, it's not really gold. It's more beige-ish. 
very muted. Oh, Rebecca, have fun. <laughs> it's more beige, um, perfect for someone who doesn't like a lot of color. They just want something muted. And look at this, it's very thin. If I were to go through here and kind of tap down um, our pieces here, we don't have any like fluffing. There's no loops. It's all super flat. Look at how thin this is. Let me show Instagram first. And then here's what it looks, you guys. Nobody told me you're, I was cutting my head off. Um, look at how thin this is. If you don't put a bow, which I don't think a bow is necessary, you don't even have to put greenery. But I want to poke some in here anyways. And this one here, these actually pop right off. So I don't even need the little stemmy part. See these little pieces? We're just gonna add some here, just add some flair. We need how many pieces of flair? 46 pieces of flair. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then you can come back to where the, um, the tubing is on the, like the first layer and move that around. You can get this all moved around to your liking. Let me see. I like to put things in here before I add any glue because if this doesn't look right, we're not going for it. So let me actually do right here. I'm going to put one that's kind of like right there. Maybe behind the ribbons like that. Okay, I'm doing it. Let's go for it. You guys ready? So I have my glue. I'm just going to put some glue on this thing. It likes to melt and drip all over me. I am putting this at an angle up out of the... I moved the one and a half inch ribbon up. So this piece is sticking up and out of between the ribbons like this. Here's the two and a half inch and here's the one and a half inch. I just lift it up, put that greenery right here, and then press it back down. So it's gonna stick to all of that, okay? So you won't see all this part, but you will know it's there. And the same thing here, I'm gonna lift up this um, ribbon. So that way it's hiding underneath there. And with this third one, it's gonna be on the other side, lifting up that two and a half inch. So it's underneath there too. Might need another piece. I'm just gonna do it. Might do like every other. Look, I'm trying not to burn myself. This would look really cute if you guys make, if you have the solo wood flowers or if you make something like that. Look, this is, this is all I'm doing. I still have to attach the sign, but this is all I'm doing is adding a little bit of greenery in there. Look at the difference that made with that. So cute. The glue has dried on this. So I'm just going to put this on here. It should stay. We don't need any signs popping off. If you don't want to use the liquid nails like I did, you could just use the dab. Let me get this on before I forget. So that was my bottom, huh? So also you want to hang it. Every tie is a bar and I'm going to use that as my guide. So I want one of those at the top. Actually, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do it that way. So then you just take your your um, side and you're just gonna feed it right through the mesh down to the base. Wherever you have the tubing and the ribbon, you know that there is a bar right there and you can use that to secure the sign to and hopefully it'll keep it nice and even as well where it's not lopsided. If you're into like keeping everything symmetrical and not wonky. 
So get this one in here and I'm just gonna loosely tie it off on that bar until I get this one positioned to know where I want this. And you can also make this, if you're using a round sign, now these are wood, these are not um, metal, but if you're using a metal sign as well, you can kind of position this down a little bit and have these ties that are um, the second layer standing up a little bit more. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's get this one in here. Cause this is looking so cute. I'm loving it. Go around here. There we go. So now that I know, let's where I'm gonna I'm gonna hang it from here, and look at how nice and straight that is. When you use the bars, so right here I'm gonna hang it. That's my top. Make sure your hello is straight, right? And it's pretty straight for me. So I'm just gonna turn this over and twist this off. And you could just twist it. You don't want it coming apart. You can just tuck this in. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit. I always trim it. Sometimes when it's short enough, you don't have to trim it, but always tuck it in to the actual design so you don't have any um, of the pipe cleaner sticking out. Okay, so twist this off. And the back looks nice and clean. You don't have any, you don't have to worry about trying to cover it. I do not cover any of the back sides of my pieces. And this is what the back looks like. Okay, and then this is what the front looks like. And while we're at it, you could take another pipe cleaner or because this is kind of jute, can even use some ribbon if you want and make a cute little bow to hang from. I just take a pipe cleaner and the, is that my top? Yeah, the bar that I'm gonna use the top for, stick a pipe cleaner through and don't tie it off like you're tying normal ties. You're gonna twist it off um, on itself and make this like a giant loop like that and then hang it this way. So this is my hanger. You see I flipped it so that part that's the, where the ends are, it's kind of scratchy, that's on the inside. So nothing scratchy and then here's your hanger. So we just need to go around and add our pieces. Isn't that cool you guys? Oops. Kathy, what? So you're gonna sell me the ribbon too? Girlfriend, what are you talking about? Oh, I pulled one of the leaves off. Okay, so I just put four there. I'm just gonna go around and do the same thing. In, under, let's go. Ourselves. Stab that in there so it comes sticking out. So I'm just moving the ribbon a little bit, okay? This is the quiet, boring part. And then even still, these little guys, they're gonna do just fine on a thin door. I put, I have a security door on my front door, um, but I put all of my wreaths on the outside. We don't have, like, we don't have storm doors, that's for sure. But I remember uh, my grandma lived in Colorado where I was born and she had a storm door. So I know exactly Exactly what's going on with that. She never had a wreath on her door, though. It wasn't popular back then. But let me tell you, my grandma had a garden full of flowers, so she did not need a wreath on her door. 
She had, she took care of her yard. She had beautiful hedges, pansies, marigolds, snapdragons. She had it all. That was her thing. Miss that baby. You guys, this is coming out so cute. I'm going to add these four, and I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? Bye, Barb. How did you put the pipe cleaners on? Faye, you're going to have to watch the replay. They're on the 15 inch wreath base and um, there's eight bars on the wreath base and you just go around putting the pipe cleaners, just attaching them. Um, if you're talking about on the sign, I used glue and attached a cable tie mount, but watch the replay. You can always fast forward. You don't need to listen to me chatting. If you guys don't like the chatting, just fast forward or mute it and watch. Oh, I'm so glad I picked this out. You guys know I get um, a little bit of anxiety about using florals and stuff, but I'm so happy that I did this one like this. Because I just felt that, this one is like acting up. I just felt like this color sequence type of vibe needed some green to it. If I did like a regular wreath rail, uh, or this wreath project, and not um, a flat pancake style, and I put a bow, I was thinking about doing a green bow, but this is really working out um, with the boxwood. Okay, let me just give that a second. I think I'm gonna keep adding more because I want this to be nice and cute and full. So all I'm doing is sliding these right off. These little things that they're on, it's literally just coming right off. I make you laugh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I still have the other four to do. I'm getting glue strings everywhere. Look at how cute that is with the um, little pieces of greenery on there. Let me put it up closer. So no bow. If you guys are having any kind of feelings about making a bow, not every wreath has to have a bow. So if that is one of your pain points, don't feel obligated to add a bow. Look at what we can do without adding a bow, okay? There's a time and place for everything. So if you're struggling with your bows, think about what can I make that doesn't have a bow? This is one of those pieces. Now, um, I need to move this a little bit before that glue is about to drip on me. I need to get behind this piece right here. There we go. Open up. So this boxwood is really super plastic. It is melting a little bit. So that's why I'm kind of making sure I'm attaching it to some of the ribbon as well because I don't want it to like fall off. But this is looking so cute. Let me get this little piece of tubing out there. This is looking so cute. Oh, how fun. Well, I hope someone loves this. I'm getting glue all over my fingers, you guys. And now you can see, you can pull out these other layers of ribbon here because, hello, we don't want you hiding underneath there. Even though we covered some of it, doesn't mean it needs to stay there, right? Pull it out a little bit and then fix it. to tell you I have some really awesome friends they inspire me to be better and let's go into some deep thought here okay you want to surround yourself with people who make you want to be better I am not the best and I know that we're constantly learning right and being better so what did I do I went and found myself some friends some people some associates that I can level up from constantly learning right 
You want people who make you feel good. You want people who um, gonna give it to you straight. Like, oh, no, that looks terrible. Don't do that. You want people who have your back. If someone makes you feel shitty, get rid of that person. Bye, don't need you. I'm gonna go over here with my friends that make me feel good, right? So just remember that even in your crafting world, if someone's not um, making you feel good, and I'm not saying, you know, delete people from your life. I'm just saying surround yourself with people that are on your, on your side. You, you need cheerleaders. So I've done that with my friends. I'm not comfortable with doing all of this stuff, but I know a glue gun and I can add some glue to this and I've seen people do it. So <laughs> I'm going to try it. My friend Mel is the sweetest person I've ever met. She cracks me up all the time, keeps me on my toes. I'm so blessed to have her in my life. She does a lot of florals and she does more than I'm comfortable with. But if you're watching someone you like and they make you feel good, you could probably learn something from that, right? Versus someone who's always talking about drama. You know, there's people out there that always have a PSA about something. Meh, we don't have time for that. I'm gonna go over here to my friend. Uh, that makes me feel good. You bring that in. We're just hiding over here. We made a new lantern, you guys. I don't even know what you're calling it. What did Nick call it? I have no idea. <laughs> we made a new lantern. <laughs> He's probably waiting for me to call it something. Let's see what he says. Okay, one more. This is so cute. I'm watching these things wiggle. I'm hoping they're not gonna fall out. I might have to go back through and add a little bit more. But I had one bush, you know, I'm just pulling these things off. I'm only putting four in each one. So we have enough to add something more. Or if you wanted to do the whole bush, you could just maybe add five to each one. I don't see why not. If you add a bow, you can add, um, add some to the bow. That would look cute too. Yes, Melly Mel. Her name is Melissa. She's so cute, I swear. But that goes with anybody. Ow. Even when you're looking for like a business coach or someone to learn from, make sure that you're comfortable with them. If they make you feel uncomfortable, there's a reason for that. Move on, find something else. You are who you hang out with. So if you're hanging out with some shady people, guess what? That's not going to level you up. Okay, one more. Because my back says, nope, Carrie, you're done. I don't even know what time it is. I know we started late. If you're watching on Instagram, you know I started early and had a blooper. Richard's not even on Instagram, so anyways. So all you have to do is just take your um, glue gun, just put the tip right where the glue, you know, these guys are, if you feel like they're gonna move around a little bit. I'm just gonna go through and feel and see if anybody's out of control here and get them glued up. This is so cute. Gosh, stop it. See like this one, I'm just gonna go a little bit more right there. You're not gonna see it. And then I'm gonna hold this up so you can see what it looks like. This one right here feels a little wobbly. Oh, that one's kind of wet still, so just leave that there. These ones feeling good. So that one too. Oh, that one's still wet too. Eee! I don't want any glue on my fingers. I'm done. We're going to leave it because it is looking good. I've got glue all over the place. You guys ready for this? Richard put it right in front of my thing. 
Look at how cute this came out. So you just have a little pop of greenery. It's still pretty flat. Let me show you from the side. Let me show Instagram. Here's the other camera, YouTube and Facebook. It's still pretty thin. How cute is that? If I can hold it straight. And that's it. So if you have any reservations about making a bow, think about making something like this where you don't even have to put a bow. Look at how pretty that is. And it's not a lot of supplies either, guys. It was less than one bush um, of greenery, depending on what you use. Um, tubing, ribbon at 10 inches, 15 inches on the um, mesh, and then one sign. Now, if um, I suggest a 12 inch round, this is what this is, 12 inches with the 15 inch. If you're looking for a smaller piece, doing exactly the same thing, get one of our 10 inch bases and one of the eight inch signs. Okay, I would reduce um, my mesh to 10 inches and then I would do probably eight, where's my other tail? I'd probably do eight inches on the ribbon and then still add your greenery in there. But that's a very cute everyday wreath for people who don't like colors, they like just something very simple like this. And if you can't make a bow or don't want to, there's another solution for you. Isn't that cute? So guys, my object of uh, my lives is to inspire you. And I hope this breaks you out from uh, not making a bow. Because I know you guys talk about it all the time. So there's that. And this is what Richard wanted me to show you. We have a new lantern. These are, um, I don't know what we're calling this, but this is, I said vintage. I don't even know what it's called. And I took the other one out. The other one's like a window pane. This is more like a farmhouse lantern style. So we're gonna get that loaded in there. And if you like this, and if you've never seen this, this is a lantern that you can paint and put a LED candle in it. And we have two holes here at the top you can secure some greenery and make a little lantern swag for your own lantern. So that's it, you guys. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to do some patriotic um, crafts, make some uh, swag. And the girls are working on some new kits, and those will be ready for tomorrow. So if you're looking for something patriotic um, to see what we do, I'm going to do a patriotic swag tomorrow. I'm going to use those. Uh, red, white, and blue stripes, stars and stripes, cowboy boots and hat. And um, one of the signs that says, I think it says, hey y'all on it. So cute. I showed it last week and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.